Alright, hello and welcome to the Grizzle Survivor Show today. Um, if you remember my first excursion into Globeville, we ended up on like 43rd and Broadway. And this is where Broadway would continue if we had chosen to go south. <coughs> right around that bend is where we wrapped up that particular adventure. We're headed... There's like a demolition place right there that's really cool. I know you're not getting very good, uh... I know the camera's kind of having some problems finding its focus, but it's just because of the sunset. Once we get around the bend here, it should be a little bit easier. Um, yeah, this is where we wrapped up our adventure at that particular time. Um, a little bit to the north of where we're at now. What I mainly want to do is, they want to come down here and drive past this area almost every day. And uh, there's a dispensary down here. Um, I just kind of wanted to come back here and get this area during the right time um, because I just felt like there's the rail yard over there, the moon. I just felt like in the middle of the daylight it just didn't have that dramatic flare that we've all come to look for on the show. Highway over there, kind of blocking our light source. So here we are. This whole little back area here is the railroad that we saw in Globeville. See, might have to come back here in the light and make this a two-parter because this video is really not getting very good of a light source. Maybe I can up the light. Oh, look at that. So we can increase the brightness a little bit. Just a skosh. Not much to say, I'm just admiring the gorgeous sunset here. There's a little bit of a better visual of this area and then that's more of like how the natural light is actually there we go look at that it's just gorgeous however it's a little bit dark there we go just so you can see the sunset there I really like this area. Um, it'll connect you over to Park Avenue, and then uh, you can use that to pretty much connect to 38th Street, or to go downtown there if that's where you were wanting to go. Lots of graffiti on the trains. However, that area there is highly secure. So, the graffiti didn't get put on the trains while it was sitting here at the BNSF. Um, whoever graffitied the trains did it while they were sitting in rural areas. Um, and I mean, graffiti artists and us, um, well, we have a lot in common. However, we as urban explorers choose not to do anything besides document the areas that we go to. 
and graffiti artists choose to vandalize them. And thus they really break the primary rule of urban exploration, in my opinion. Unless they do dumb shit like that. Why are you tagging the sidewalk? Who cares about the sidewalk? Once we get around these trains here, we're gonna get a really great view of Denver. And with the sunset, I think this is a good time that I chose to come out here. the highway from here. And look at that guys, gorgeous shot of Denver. We're here along the back side. There's the rail yard. <laughs> Digging that shot there, guys. So I'm not really that well versed on railroads. And if someone watching the show can enlighten me um, where I'm from, 100 miles north of where we're at now, the only railroad you see is the Union Pacific. But down here, you've got both Union Pacific and BNSF. Do those rail... Do the railroad companies use the same tracks or is it simply they go completely different places and that's why they're different companies? If you can enlighten me to that, I would be very happy to hear from you in the comments. And as much as I would love to go in there, that's basically just a, a prison sentence waiting to happen. And then there's a rundown old hotel over here. It, it's not abandoned. It's just like the type of place you would take a lady in the evening if you get my drift. And that's where we'll turn around and head back to the car. I still have to drive home in rush hour. But I've been wanting to get to this spot for so very long now. Because I really wanted to get this beautiful shot of Denver here and the sunset. There's the gorgeous sunset there. And then see, you've got this big gate and private property. Trespassers are warned to keep off. And speaking of trespassers, my album, Trespassers Anthems, will be finished soon and available for a donation on Bandcamp. There's the rundown hotel over there. And then no trespassing there either. So let's cross the street while we have the opportunity to do so, and we'll wrap up today's adventure. Kind of give you a good view of how the other side of the pathway looks here while I talk your ear off. Um, also, if you go to my Patreon site, I have goals set, and one of the goals is to start reading the chapters of my book I'm working on via audiobook. And if that's something you'd be interested in hearing, help me meet my meager $50 a month goal. That would enable me to take a day off of work every month and work on videos and work on my book and work on my album and work on some merchandise for everyone. Um, shirts are coming. And uh, unfortunately, those won't be available for just a donation. But uh, they're going to be reasonably priced. Only a dollar or two more than it cost me to make the shirts. Um, I'm more interested in getting promotion than I am. Let's get that beautiful, 
beautiful shot of Denver there. Um, then I really am in uh, any sort of money so much right now. <laughs> I mean, you know, I just value your support. Um, and the shirts would really be, um, shirts that I personally would want to wear around. Um, I'm not a big fan of people making merchandise that just looks like something that no one wants to wear. And I mean, everyone's fashion sense is different, but obviously if you're watching my show, you're probably interested in the same stuff I am. And so, you know, um... We'll see how the shirts do, and I'd love to make other merchandise for everyone as well. Other than that, I suppose, since I'm very long-winded, we should just get to the goodbye part of the show. Already done my Patreon plug, so we won't bore you anymore with that. Let's get to the free stuff and the juicy stuff that everyone likes, like the Instagram account, where you can see pictures from days like today as well as some exclusive videos and pictures of areas that we'll be going to but have not gotten to yet and if you want to stay notified of the new stuff that's happening as well as articles that I post that I feel are relevant, news articles that I share relevant to the topic of, you know, environmental pollution and post-apocalyptic survival. I do share them on my Facebook page as well, um, providing commentary most of the time. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in the stuff we talk about on the show, you're definitely going to love that. And I suggest that you get your butt there ASAP. Well, as soon as we hit that building right over there, we're going to be done with today's adventure. Is this a homeless person sign? Nope. I wanted to read what it said because we found that one that was kind of eerie where it was talking about how they're going to freeze to death. So, it's always nice to <laughs> try to read the signs. Um, getting some pictures here. Um, I figured out how to take pictures on the phone while I'm recording. Um, however, we do have a new GoPro on the way. Um, this episode is actually not going to be released for a while after it was filmed. Um, I'm trying to just get a huge backlog of urban exploration videos and I'm pretty damn successful right now. What I need to do is really go through and sort them all out. Right. Uh, um, so the phone will be going away eventually. You won't have to deal with these videos that are recorded on the phone, although it's been really handy, honestly, to have this thing. Um, this, this old phone is really pulling its weight since the GoPros have kind of been inoperable. All right, well, we're parked right on the other side of the white building. More graffiti. Um, and so, yeah, as much as I hate to do it, I gotta let you go on this beautiful autumn evening. But I do wanna say, thank you so very much for joining us as we walk through Globeville. I really do appreciate the support I've been seeing. We're growing slowly. The extra content I'm putting out and the regular upload scheduling is really helping. And I appreciate everyone taking the time out to watch my videos when I do post them. Um, it's just incredible to me, the support I've received. Let's end our show with this gorgeous shot of Denver. Thank you so very much for watching me today and for showing interest in all of my endeavors. And I want to wish you all a great time and a happy time. And I guess what I'm trying to say is happy survival.